Welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I thought I would start this puzzly area by climbing up this wall right here, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. I guess that surface up there is, uh, yeah. Just behind it, actually. Look at that, got full sands from all the junk I found lying around. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Alright, so that's not how you get over there. You can't run or jump to the side, I think, at the top of one of these. Fuck. Right. Look, I get it, there's a pole up there, but it doesn't do me any good. I need to get on the pole and hit this lever. Or whatever the fuck you would call this you can direction. Screenshot of that. Nice. Now I will wait for my sand to refill. Because it's always good to. Invisible man's invisible man's invisible. No. No. Uh. Uh. Ah! Uh. Shit, I don't know where to go. Don't be an ass. Climb. Climb! Neat. Delicious. I would have killed me. She. I could curve around the end again, but. Okay, now what? Wait. No, I can't get up there. If I jump up forward and leap off the wall, that will bring me to death. Or I will land on top of the wall. I don't know that I can make that, but I will give it a try. Turn around. Jedi mind trick. <laughs> Another good near me. What the fuck keeps doing that? Okay, I've got all the sand. All the sand I can carry. Maybe I'll unlock another tank from doing that.
Okay, the big guy never seems to move. Well, he just mo literally moved there, but he didn't actually go anywhere or change his directions. He just kind of squirmed. Okay, the big red guy is dead. No! You assholes are supposed to stop appearing once uh, I do that. Fucking die already! Smash the what? I can't. Do I have to swing my blade into this thing. Thank you. as I can. A new sand tank! I was right! What a lovely guess. What a lovely Christmas present. Of course, I'm recording this on the uh, 24th, but by the time we see this, I will have, of course, seen the uh, real ones, the real Christmas presents. Real ones. Ah, I wanted to leave that on top of it. Oh wait. Son of a bitch. Could I have leapt from there to there and... Oh, 
man. that. Oh, okay. I guess the point is, from up here, I would have been behind the, uh, the commander. The, the sand gate guard. Beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door. Roger that. <sighs> really? Not like a pool of water on the ground I could drink from. I actually remember Warrior Within being pretty good about having a lot of those around so you could restore your health. Whoa, I remember a puzzle kind of like this in Warrior Within, too. No, you can't stop. I, I tapped up and he's still going. Can't let go, either. Okay, so I will have it in this direction, I guess. And if I, yeah, I can't pull it any further. Okay, I will just leave it like that because it's different, and in video game logic, that probably means it's okay. Uh, what do you do? Hem, what do you do? Hem, what? There's no mechanism in there. All right, maybe that's a window. I do kind of like this stuff with the curved walls. Uh... Oh, I guess I can just... Don't have enough health to risk invisible mans. No, no, I see how this works. Faster. You're more than welcome to come down here and try it yourself. Seven years and still nothing's changed. Seven years? What are you talking about? It's a figure of speech. There is something very odd about you. She has no idea. Seven years, really? Uh... I think this is right. My bad. I just remember that, uh, <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm just thinking of those bits from Enslaved where, uh... You know, you shout at an AI companion on when to pull... ...levers in a situation very much like this. Alright, alright, alright. Ah, we are making progress. I think I see a bell in that tower. Perhaps if you can get me to the next balcony, I can sever its rope. You can use it to access the door switch. With my it. luck, it will probably trigger some terrible trap. Or summon sand monsters. Or bring about the end of the world. Would it kill you to show a little optimism? Experience has taught me wishful thinking only leads to disappointment. That would have been a lot more dramatic if his hair would have stopped clipping through his damn face, but, you know. Oops. Fuck. How the hell do I get back to pull the first one? Kill me. Stop doing that. Ugh. Shit. So what? I have to load the game because I uh didn't set it properly? I am not going through that fight again. I guess I'll just try this. I did that already. That's lucky. Oh, god damn it! No, no, bad music should still be playing. Fuck! It doesn't work anymore. Move won't work because I don't have another weapon. Beautiful building. Oh. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his. Well, there's that. <laughs> that was a sneeze. Alright. Man, what if I hadn't done that? I wouldn't have been able to get back and I would have been fucked. So I guess there is a mechanism in there. I don't know why I can't see the gears. Damn it. Sorry, that sneeze wasn't alone. I spent some time to make sure my uh, nose is properly placated. And while I was doing this, the uh, Dark Prince was uh, complaining with Time's wasting! And uh, now, where is that vizier? If 
find it interesting that he's uh not being you know explicitly evil. Oh hey, look at that! I loaded the game and it kept the uh, sword in my belt. That was a big problem in uh... what the fuck was it called? In the Warrior Within, because I remember I remember doing the last bit over and over again because the, I found I found a sword. Continue. For my offhand that did shitloads of damage to the uh, final boss uh, when I was doing the the normal ending where the final boss is Kylina. The alternate sword did way more damage. Though it turns out uh, I was screwing myself because it does way more damage and drains your health every time you use it. <laughs> but when I hit retry instead of manually loading my game, it, uh... loads me to the checkpoint before the boss fight with just my sword. So, you know. I'll tell you what. We'll figure this puzzle out next time. Or more accurately, we'll do the puzzle again, and then murder those fucking dogs without dying next time. Very well. And for now, uh, let's look at some more concept art and call it a day. So yeah, that's totally far out. I find it interesting that... Now, I, I was specifically looking for this. She doesn't have the medallion around her neck. There's Kylina. That's a pretty good picture. Uh, nice and dramatic. That guy kind of reminds me of the old man you see at the beginning of Warrior Within. The guy who lived out in the desert in the middle of nowhere. As opposed to in a big temple in what I assume is Babylon. But I'm not sure who that's supposed to be either way. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I got that one. That's a really nice shot. I remember those guys. Uh, the guys with the hammers did way more damage than you'd think than you think would be fair, but uh, they were really susceptible to. I think it was. Uh, I don't remember. There was this one attack they were susceptible to, and this was before the grappling, so it couldn't have been the uh, jump over attack. Oh look, they have a mocked-up version of the HUD up in the corner. I like that. The courtesans always gave me the business, and I remember those assholes with the fancy armor and the big uh, scimitars. Uh, those guys really gave me the business. You know, so much so that the first one you fight is the zombie version of King Sharaman, who appears like hours before any of those guys appear as regular enemies. That is a really cool image. I don't have anything clever to say about that. Just damn. Actually, this specific picture, the outfit he's wearing, kind of reminds me of the one worn by uh, the prince. Of, the prince in uh, the Prince of Persia reboot. I distinctly remember that area. There was a really hard fight on a bridge. <coughs> that could be kind of anywhere. I do remember the stairway leading up to the front entrance of the fortress.
Oh, the Dahaka. I'm guessing that is far as bow. Really nice looking. I don't know what that is. Neat! And again, no videos. And we'll see our next stuff at 900 credits. Um... Stretch. So with that in mind, I hope you are having a Merry Christmas. You know, whether you, you know, I hope you had a Merry Christmas if you choose not to spend time on Christmas Day watching YouTube videos. But if you did, thank you for including me on your uh, Yuletide celebrations. That uh, really means a lot to me. But have a great day. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Prince of Persia, the Two Thrones Burning Dog fans. We've got some dogs to murder. Take and wait until next time. Later!